buzzing, buzzing. Hello, friends. So today I have a really exciting box opening. This is a really interesting doll I found because I've kind of been seeing them on. Oh gosh, I'm just gonna get it out of the shipping box. I've been seeing them um, kind of floating around, but I'm not sure if you can see this or not. But this is a Diary Queen doll. Um, they had a sale going on. I want to, okay, it's just a slide off. So they had a sale going on back in November on Remembrance Day, so November the 11th. Um, they had a huge sale going on. I ended up getting this doll for $80 Canadian with, I think it was like $15 shipping, so really, really affordable. Um, and there was something like, I've seen other dolls in the, um, the Diary Queen, like, line, and I just, I look at them and I think, ugh, they kind of look like old porcelain dolls, like, with that blank, you know, out in space look, but then I saw this one in the pictures anyway, um, and I'll insert a picture in the video. And I saw this one and I was like, her face is just so... <gasps> Are you kidding me? Well, that takes my theory out to, out to lunch. So this is the face I don't like. Oh, no, I lied. Oh. <sighs> Oh, I just about had a panic attack. I thought that this was a, a fake, um, like, uh, the promo pictures were fake. Okay, that makes me, okay. <laughs> Woo, I was about to get real upset and real bummed. So, whoa. So she came with some extra hands. Um, they're a little dirty. I think it's because they're in with shoes. Um, but I gotta say, the plastic that they're made of almost has, like, a, the tooth that you would get with resin, if that makes sense. Like, it's, it's ABS plastic, but it has, like, a nice tooth to it. Um, but I have a magic cursor right here, so I can see if this will come off. Might be scuffs. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I can't tell if it's like stained or not. It's not my magic eraser isn't doing anything. Yeah, it's like little black scuffs on them. Um maybe if I give them like a, a wash with some like soap and water. Um not a big deal. They are extra hands. I'll figure it out, see if I can get the little marks off, but the hand pose itself is actually quite delicate and nice. That was another thing about the other dolls by the Diary Queen series that I just didn't like. The, the joints were kind of clunky, and I'm sure this one will, but like the big thing, the big turn off for me um, was the wrist joints. And these shoes are actually pretty cute. I mean, they're not bad at all. Cute little heel. And the inside, I don't know. Ooh, where's my camera here? I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of, the strap is kind of hiding it. But it does say Diary Queen inside the shoe. Cute little heels. Okay. The doll that almost caused me to have a panic attack. Let's see. Oh, she's super cute. Oh my god. Wow. So, she came with a little face mask. And, oh my gosh, whoa. Okay. Let's get this box out of the way. So, I don't know if I've ever talked about this on my channel or not. I am a huge uh, Beatrix Potter fan. And I saw 
this. Ooh, her hair's all staticky. That's okay. I saw this girl um, in this little Peter Rabbit dress. I will show you in just a second here. I just kind of want to get. There's her face. And there was just something a little. I just liked this, like, kind of rounder face. And. Her makeup is a lot less chunky or um, heavy-handed. It's coming up really like pink in the camera, but it's quite soft. Um, she just almost has like a real like, I don't wanna say like a, a real person vibe, but she does, like it comes off as makeup on a person, more so than paint on a doll, if that even makes sense. But I will show you the outfit here um she's a little frumpy like the collar <laughs> just needs a little love probably some hot water will help flatten that out cute little pinafore but the thing that got me and i'm trying to find out okay here we go so if you don't know uh this is about me i am a giant beatrix potter fan and so we have Peter, Flopsy, Mopsy, and their mum. Oh my god, and we have Piggy Williams over here. Or uh, Piggy, oh, what is his name? He just wants a little garden with potatoes, basically. There's Peter there. It says Beatrix Potter, Peter Rabbit. Who else is it? I think that's Tom Kitten. Oh my gosh. It's kind of out. Yeah, that is Tom Kitten right there. His face is somewhere in there, but I 100% recognize that silhouette. Jenny Puddle Duck. Okay, I'm losing my mind. This is just everything. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting so caught up in the dress that I'm not even showing you the doll. Um, her hair needs a little bit of love, but she came with this adorable little headband. Oh, it's a hat. It's a hat. So, it's kind of weird, but she did come with little undies. I'm gonna show you guys the body. So the dress just closes in the back with Velcro. I figure, oh, and her hands come off real easy. Um, another big feature for me with this doll was, honestly, I'm kind of picky when it comes to doll hands. And the hands on this doll are very pretty, so. bonus I found a lot of the other ones of this like company they're very like flat if that makes sense like they just they're like and that's it like there's no real pose to them um, her hair is currently tied with a little rubber band I'm not gonna I'm gonna fiddle with her hair later oh Okay, so it's a bonnet that she's wearing. But I think, is it sewn on the right Oh my gosh, wait. Well, hold the phone, folks. <gasps> that is incredible. I had no idea. She, how is this attached? Okay, I'm, I'm kind of mildly obsessed already. Oh, it's a little... Okay, we need to sit her down. So, as you can see, no idea. Uh, none of the promo pictures show this. I can change her eyes, which is beyond exciting because I'm not crazy about the ones she has right now. But I think it's a teeny tiny little... Like those little... Um... Oh yeah, it's one of those little plastic... Uh... Um, 
those little plastic things you get in like Barbie dolls and that kind of thing. Okay, this is like freakishly exciting for me. I had no clue that she had a head cap. I'm so hyped about this. This is like the best surprise. Okay, so she has these little, yeah, these little tea Barbie thingies in holding this pinafore on. Or not pinafore, uh, bonnet. Um, I'm just gonna cut them so we can have a look at her hair. Um, there were a few options, I'm not gonna lie. Um, there was one that it came with this beautiful red, pinky red hair that I really, really wanted. But I wanted the Peter Rabbit dress more. <laughs> and uh, you could have bought their clothing separate, it was an option, but the, the dresses themselves were going for $60. Um, and I said, you know, I'd rather just get the doll and maybe just cut the hair off and get her a wig, but like, I, if this hair is incredibly soft, like, really, I'm not kidding when I say, like, if, wow, it's softer than my hair. <laughs> and my hair's a gosh dang mess right now. Um, it's very thickly rooted, and the head cap itself is actually this like pale blonde color um, it's painted kind of like you would find with a standard um, a standard like rooted hair doll um, it's yeah it's it's super tangled from shipping which is fine I just need to get a brush but <laughs> very thick like that's quite a bit of hair really cute little fringe. I can't, I'm beyond excited that she has a removable head cap. I had no clue. Little eyes in there. This is so exciting. So, okay, let's do a little tour of this body. I'm using my uh, Dolphy Dream here. So here's her face again. She's so cute. I really, I was so, I had a I'm not gonna lie, full <laughs> little meltdown internally when I thought it was a different face. So she is quite in the perky chest, but it is smooth, which I appreciate. Um, her elbow looks to me that it twists, um, but I don't want to force it with one hand right now. Um, standard range of motion in the shoulder. And this is so hard to do with one hand. People who do this all the time with one hand, I applaud you. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, double, double jointed elbow, not the most attractive, but again, her cute dress covers that up. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, she has a solo joint here. She has, obviously, a swivel joint here. Um, double jointed knees from the looks. Oh yeah, and it's like a little peanut in the back. It's actually... And you know, the knee isn't the worst I've seen. There was a little... Not on this foot. Where I thought I saw something. Or maybe it was her back. Yeah, so... DBS is the company, I guess? Um, I am just like floored. I'm floored with this doll. I, I had no idea that she had an opening head cap. So I'm gonna see if I have some eyes that will fit her and I'm gonna be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, and when I say there's a lot of hair on this doll, oh my gosh, there is a lot of hair on this doll. I think I'm going to be bold and give it a trim um, just because it it's a bit much for me to manage. Um, I have a hard time with my dolls having long hair. The only doll that I can handle having long hair is Moss only because it is relatively 
flat, if that makes sense. Whereas this, this is a poof. <laughs> it's a bit poodle-like right now. But I was able to get some really pretty glittery green glass eyes I have in her. They're definitely a touch too big. Um, I don't know how I ended up with one, but I have one little blue eye that I love. Please excuse the state of my very torn up hands from work. Um, one little blue eye that I love and I popped it in. It's the perfect size. I just don't remember what size this is. So I'm gonna have a look around, see if I can find her some green eyes in this size. Cause I do like the green in her. They're very sparkly. Um, she already told me her name and it's, uh, it's Fern. Um, so I have a moss and I have a fern. <laughs> uh, when I put the green eyes in, she was just like, yep, this is me. So that's a bonus. Um, these are the eyes she came with. Just some really, like, in her head they look as dark as they're coming up on camera. In real life, they're a little bit lighter. They're kind of like a chocolate brown. But with her eyelashes, they just look like black orbs in her head. So... The green aren't much better in person. They're not as dark. The camera seems to be making everything a little bit dark right now. Um, I can try and fiddle with the exposure here. I mean, it's super washing out her hair, but you can kind of see her eyes a little bit better. Anyway, we're gonna get back to normal. Um, I thought I would go over her body, so I'm just gonna prop you guys up here. I'm using one of my dolls to uh, hold the camera right now. So, my ring keeps getting caught in her hair. So I'm just gonna pop her hair off. So you can kind of see it here, hopefully. If it's come up, it's pretty bright because of my light. But hopefully, yeah, there we go. So, I'm gonna go over her body. Oh yeah, I can really pick up her eyes now. Um, she is double jointed everywhere. So the parts of her that are, um, I'm wondering if I have stuff on my hands. She just keeps getting little scuffs on her. But okay, so let's just go from head to toe. So with her head, she can look down she can look up a little bit but she can also tilt her head side to side just a touch which I think is super cute her shoulders are pretty standard 360 she has a swiveling joint doesn't look great but under clothes you probably can't even notice very <laughs> perky chest <laughs> And then, um, I was correct, she swivels at the elbow. Her elbow is double jointed. It's a little stiff, but she has really good range of motion. And of course, all doll collectors know, touching the face is happening. One thing I will note is her hands are, I'm assuming some kind of vinyl. Um, they're more flexible than the rest of her body. Um, and you can tell just by looking at it, there is a slight color difference from the vinyl to the ABS. Hopefully the camera's picking it up. This is a touch more like light cream, whereas the rest of her is pretty pink. Um, her hands come out super easy and she has this other set which looks a little less delicate in my opinion they also I think honestly the staining on them I don't know if it's coming up I tried my magic eraser it didn't really do much I think 
honestly, a light grit sandpaper might be my best bet. But that is neither here nor there. Because those aren't the hands I love. And uh, honestly, half the reason I bought this doll was because of how cute the hands are. Um, so that's that part of her. Her, she swivels here at her hips. Her hips go at about a 90 degree. And they go straight down. They do go out to the side. So not only do they go forward, but as you can see, this joint here, I don't know, there we go, goes straight out. Her knees, I don't think, are too bad looking. Um, she sits really nicely on her knees. Um, like to the point where her bum is basically on her heels. And then the foot, which I think is actually very pretty, um, is on just a pretty swivelly ball joint. Very good pointer. Um, and there are these cute little details in the foot with uh, some lines. She has a super round face, which I think is really, really cute. Um, so I'm gonna pause the camera, get her dressed, and maybe give her hair a quick trim. And then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this doll I got off of AliExpress for, with shipping, I believe it was 89 Canadian dollars. So less than I believe 70 US dollars. So I'll be right back with that final verdict. I thought before I um, showed you my doll, like with her, her new haircut um, and everything, I would give you a little bit of a closer look at um, the dress because I think the quality alone really is um, impressive. So this top layer of the dress is like a thin satiny kind of um, polyester. Um, we have some great lace detailing with the bows, little pearl buttons, an adorable little sewn on pinafore, a sweet little bow with a pearl in the middle there, and the sleeves are this fantastic micro textured cotton material with a nice little finish with blue ribbon, and the under layer is a, um, a tulle petticoat with a beautiful gold um, and actually a holographic if it's picking up um, a lace finish. Really beautiful. And then a closer look at the um, little bonnet. Um, the white cotton matches the sleeves. The lace matches the finishing lace on the dress, and then this pretty little flower piece which actually carries through the same colors of the flowers on the dress. A lot of great detail went into these, and of course the extremely detailed little shoes. So let's get her dressed. And I'm back. These shoes were a bit of a wrestle. Um, the buckle is so tiny. Um, and because they're actually quite a soft little pleather, the heel kept wanting to squish when I put her foot in, kind of like when you just stomp your foot into a pair of shoes. But they're on. They're lovely. And I was a bit worried because she is a flat footed doll. Um, she stands on her own. Um, she's not with a stand right now. And having such a big heel, I was very worried with her being a flat-footed doll, because I was like, how is it gonna work? But it works. Um, so, here she is with quite the chop. Um, it looks a little bit kind of awkward with the little 
bonnet on. I don't know if I plan on keeping it as a bonnet because I kind of would like it as a headband personally. So I might go in and just trim off the hood because I think it would be a really cute little headband. But here she is. I think I'm gonna have to do a little trick um, where you take some boiling water and pour it over um, the dress or if I can get maneuver my iron on a really low setting I need to do something with that collar but um, for lack of a better term I think I Sabrina Spellman my little doll here eyes are registering black in that angle but here she is I actually really like her with the short hair Ooh, here over. Um, I think it really suits her um, and now I'm kind of torn between the name Fern or Fawn. I know they're very similar, but both are kind of speaking to me right now. So yeah, anyway, this is my unboxing and kind of review of the um, diary, what is it? Diary Fairy? Diary? Oh, what does the box say? Let's just, it's Diary. Queen, the Diary Queen by DBS. They are on AliExpress. Like I said, I got this girl on a sale on Remembrance Day. Um, so November 11th is when I placed my order. Today is December the 14th when I'm unboxing her. So it's been basically a month um, waiting for her to get here, which honestly, I am pleased with that wait time. I don't think it's too long. Only things I'm not crazy about with this doll was she did arrive to me with some stains that I think I will have to take sandpaper to the ABS or vinyl to remove, which is a small thing, but it is kind of frustrating when you're getting a new doll um, and it comes with stains. And it's not really a bad thing, but for me personally, lots of hair. Um, as you can see, my garbage looks a little terrifying with all that hair in it, um, but that's just a very minor thing, personal thing. Um, other than that, she is adorable, super cute. I love her face. She has such a sweet little, like almost a gentle smile. Um, I love the way she's painted. The outfit is incredible. Posing is great, really well jointed doll. Only thing with the posing is her knees are a smidge loose, so she does kind of want to tilt back if you're trying to stand her up initially, but once you get them in position, they shouldn't be too much of a problem. I think she's gonna fit really well into my current collection um, with my few dolls here. As you can see, uh, my lovely Dolphin Dream was assisting in being my tripod <laughs> um but yeah i think i'm really excited to take her on some adventures she is about 40 centimeters i will grab my mini dolphy dream stand her <laughs> knocking girls over um stand them side by side so from being a little frazzled here i'd say she's a smidge taller Maybe by a couple of No, actually, you know what? I think they're the same height. So compared to my mini Dolphy Dream, same height in heels. And I think the heel is... Oh, you know what? I think she's taller than my... Please excuse my squeaky chair, by the way. I think she is taller than my mini Dolphy Dream. Because looking at them now, she's in platform heels. She is not. So yeah. There she is in all of her glory.